Okay guys, this video is to show people how to use XPatter to play PC games that don't have controller support. Now I know that the mouse and keyboard is definitely, you know, the most precision, you know, accuracy, everything you want in a shooter, you know, but some people just can't get used to the keypad and the mouse. I myself is included in that category. I cannot get used to the keyboard and mouse. So I have to rely on my what I've been playing this all these years and that's the controller so let's get to it first of all you'll need XPatter I'm not going to show you how to download it just go to uh, Google and download it from a trusted site I, I recommend just paying for it because that's what I did but if you want to take a chance and get it from somewhere else that's your prerogative now first I'm going to start this from scratch here to show you that uh, how to set everything up you'll once you start off you'll you'll have to have your controller plugged in first of all now go to sticks here, right above, you know, the image above that is just, you know, if you want to download a custom skin or whatever, but this is your left thumb stick. So you can move your stick as you're doing this to see what buttons you're using here. Now, you'll want to click over here and just, you'll drag it, you know, wherever you want. You know, I like to put it in the position of what a real Xbox 360 controller, which is what I'm using where the placement would be. Now this is your right thumb stick. You have to click over here. Get onto your right thumb stick. And that's your right thumb stick. And as you're moving, you can see indicated by the green movement. Alright. Now we go to the D-pad. This is pretty self-explanatory. You just go and pick what you want from the left hand side here. And then you you move it around where you want. That's your D-pad. Now next we're going to go to the buttons. Now the, the left and right thumbsticks have the click buttons. You click in the right thumbstick and the left thumbstick you get these two buttons. So click click the left thumbstick and put it in the center of your left thumbstick and the right and your right thumbstick here. So those are your click buttons for your sticks. Now we go to the other buttons here. These are the start and select buttons. As you hit a, a button on your controller, it will come up. So if you hit any button on the controller, it's going to pop up on the screen here. And you just place them wherever you want. So those are our start and select buttons there. You see how I'm pushing all the, these buttons are appearing here? And we'll just, as you click them on the controller, you'll know which one it is. So that's the Y button. Then you hit another one to see what that, oh, that one is and drag it over. That's the B button. We go A and X. Now we'll do the bumpers, left and right bumpers. All right, and that's your buttons. Now we'll do the triggers last. Once you enable them, left and right triggers, just put them where you want. Obviously I'd like to put them where they are <laughs> corresponding to the controller. I am using an Xbox 360 controller. You can use a various amount of controllers. I'm pretty sure you can use a PlayStation 3 and all kinds of other things, but I'm for this tutorial I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. Okay, once that's set, you'll have your canvas, so to speak, in which to work with here. Now I'm just going to show you my personal setup. You can change this any way you feel comfortable because everybody's different. Everybody's going to want different settings. So now what we're going to do is map the PC controls to our canvas. So you click here. We're going to start with the left trigger and this will be mouse 2 for our aiming. R right trigger will be mouse 1. So just find it click it there. Now we're going to do the left bumper. I like to use grenades for the left bumper so put G. Right bumper. Now this one's a little different. Alt fire uh, by default on the PC is, is mapped to like the middle mouse button. So what I did is I changed it to the F key. You can change it to whatever you want that doesn't conflict with something else but I just use F. So you'll have to go to killing floor menu to change that.
So now we're going to do our movement keys, your WADS keys, which is pretty much standard for every PC game. Now for the middle thumbstick, uh, for the left thumbstick, I like to use the uh, C for crouch. You click in the thumbstick, you'll crouch. Now for the select button, I like to use one for my melee weapons and two for my pistol. Well, by default, it's your starting pistol. And you keep clicking it, you'll get more weapons. Moving on to the D-pad, I like to use up on the D-pad, I like to use five. That pulls out your med syringe and your welding. And uh, here on the left D-pad, we have three and four. These are weapon select buttons. And, and this one I rarely use. But down on the D-pad, we're going to map it to I for dropping a weapon if you're playing online. Now we're going to map our movement here with the mouses, mouse movements here, up, down, left, right. Now we move on to the buttons, the face buttons. Now this button in the middle here, that's where I, I use that to drop money for, for players. So that's, by default, that's the B key, but I didn't know what it was at the time, so I didn't put it in. I will later. Now for the Y key, I like to use the heel key, which is Q. The X key is reload. We'll go with R. I like to put E on the right side. That's the use key, opening doors and whatnot. And of course, we have our jump button, which is the space key. And now we have our finished product here. But now it gets a little more complicated. We have to get precision as best we can. Of course, we don't have you know the mouse, which is the perfect precision tool, but we're going to do the best we can here. And I've found this to be the most comfortable setting for me. So what we want to do here, you want to find and click the monkey wrench icon, which is found near the sticks or the, or it's right here too. You want to go to settings at the top. Now you'll come to this screen. You'll need to take the dead zone down to 17. That's what I have it at, 17. If you go any lower than that, it's going to be so sensitive that it, it'll move the mouse without you even moving it. So Here I don't mess with anything, but just make sure that dead zone is at 17. Okay, what we want to do here is we're on the movement side here. Click up. Let's start with up, and you'll see another monkey wrench down here. Click this. You'll come to this screen. I like to put this down to 49 on, the, on up. At first I thought it was 32, but then I realized it was 49. So it's 49. I like to keep it at 49. On down, you want 49 as well. And again, this is a personal preference. You can switch it, play with it as much as you want, see what works for you. But this is what I like to use, and it works well for me. So just find out what you're comfortable with. Now for the left and right, it's going to be different. I like to select this and put it at midway, about 128 for left and right on the stick. This is for to enable you to turn quicker. If you had it mapped to what your aiming sticks were, and, and you're going to move way too slow, turtle style. You don't want that. So I had to had to go up a little bit to 128 on the left and right, and up and down I wanted about 49. So now we have our complete setup for killing floor. But we're not finished yet. We have to actually tinker with a few more options in the um, Killing 4 menu. So let's go do that. And make sure you save your profile. Okay, now we're in the menu here. Go to Settings. Go to Input. Now, I want to turn all of this off here. You want everything off unchecked here. And like I said, this is a personal preference. Change it if you want. Now here... I have 1.75 for the top two options. For the bottom two, you want to leave it zero. All right, I'm just going to show you some gameplay with the controller and how, how it feels, how it works here. I'm not the best Killing 4 player by any means, but this is adequate enough for controller users that don't want to use the keyboard and mouse. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video helped you guys out. I'll see you guys next time.
Well, open soon, lads. Head this way.